Hello everybody, what's going on? Today I'm gonna show you how to download the Game Boy Advance emulator. In other words, how to play Game Boy Advance games in your computer via an emulator. So we're gonna go Firefox. And um, the thing is, you can actually... Um, actually, you have to go to this site. Go to this site, coolrom.com. I'm gonna go right now, again, uh, just in case. So let me type it in. Um, Okay, so once you've done that, you pretty much I was already on the page, but just in case you were doubting that I was lying to you, so uh, go to uh, Game Boy Advance. You're gonna see emulators right here. So e emulators, every single emulator you're gonna find there. But you, we're only teaching how to get Game Boy Advance. So now right here, you're gonna get a couple options of Game Boy em emulators. You're gonna see the ratings right there, and usually this top one is the best one. So now you're gonna scroll down, get over here. And uh, you see, actually, I'm running AdBlock uh, for the website, so you might see some other crap here. And if if you come here, so like usually in this window, there's like some crap there, like advertising and stuff. But we don't care. You want just want to download your file, download it, wait for a couple seconds. Uh, you can actually exit it out. Yeah. So I'm gonna close that window, and then. We're gonna wait for this. Okay, so now we got the version video. Uh, usually, right here, if you have a WinRAR or whatever, it should come up as a whatever file, as a zip file or whatever. It usually, you can open it if you don't have that. So, um, you're gonna actually have to extract this. So, extract all. It should end up in the same place right here in the visual void, whatever. So, you're gonna click extract right there so click and now you have the same files or uh, it's the same it's in the same folder same file but but it's just now extracted you can now use it you can actually put this in your flash drive or whatever and uh, play it anywhere like you can take your flash drive with this application on and you can open it in whatever like in the library at your school or whatever so you, there's a way you can actually do that so I'm gonna close this out for a second right now because I'm gonna show you how to download the games you want to play so now you're gonna see a couple of references right there like in the bottom says Dragon Ball Z and all that crap but usually you're gonna go to ROM files uh, Game Boy Advance now right here starting all you're gonna see like the top 50 games downloaded like Pokemon Emerald, Fire Red, uh, Golden Sun, all that good stuff uh, you're gonna see the top rated right here and um, I know for a fact that a couple of these don't work, like this one, Classic NES, Super Mario, and Super Mario 3, um, they're like corrupted files or something, I don't know, I tried downloading them, but they don't work. Um, so right here, I'm going to choose one, I'm going to go for, uh, here, which, uh, all of these games are really good, so I'm going to go with Minish Cap. So the Minish Cap, if you haven't played that game, you're lost in time. Okay, so you're going to go with the same process right here download link like it's like I said before this probably looks different uh, if you actually go there because I'm running ad block on the website or the application literally in every site so you're gonna wait you're gonna have this pop up appear again um, you're gonna wait some time and uh, you're gonna download your file so I'm gonna download it and uh, so yeah, pretty much this is pretty much it. I think you... Okay, hold on. I think there might be an extra step on this. I think you... So we're going to open this file because I think you have to extract this game also, but I don't think so. So, okay, we're going to try and open it. So we're going to see if... Uh, oh, actually, you have to open the uh, emulator app. Uh, so we're going to go to whatever, whenever, whatever we have it on. So I have it right here. We're going to go File, Open... And then we're gonna go to where you need to find out where the location of a ROM is. So I have it in downloads, and I for some reason I can't seem to find it. Okay, it's right here. Um, let's go to Zelda Minish Cap right there, and you should see your game like playing as normal as if you were playing in. Uh, you can see the lag right there, eighty percent. But is you usually if you're not recording, it usually goes a hundred percent. Okay, so now right here, I'm gonna show you a little trick. You're gonna go to um to change controllers. Um, it's not this option. Okay, let's go. To, it's actually options. Joypad configure 
number one. Usually you have controllers from your uh, keyboard and your PC, but you can configure you, like better suitable controllers from here. And you can actually use a USB controller, and if your computer de if detects that controller, you can actually play uh, with a, like a PS3 controller or whatever. Um, so you're gonna configure. I'm just it should auto like auto detect your button strokes to fill whatever. So once you've done that, you're gonna press OK, and it should save your preferences. So that's pretty much it. You should run a pretty smooth game after this. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, guys, and I'll be seeing you guys later.